Hi, I'm veterinarian Brad Gordon. Today we're going to talk about the most Googled pet grooming questions that we've received. Number one, how do you give your bat a cat? <laughs> you better put the tape back on. No, you can just keep going. How do you give your cat a bath? Very carefully. You don't want to injure the cat, you don't want to get injured yourself. Sometimes you have to wrap them front half, back half, to wash one half and then the other half. Number two. Can I use human shampoo on my dog? Well, it depends on the shampoo. You don't want to dry their skin out and you want to leave some of their oils in their skin. What I found to be the best are the Vetrisen Foam Care products. They rinse really, really well, and the problem that I've had in the past is I get covered because I keep trying to rinse the dog until there's no more soap that comes out. With the Vetrisen Foam Care, not a problem. Number three. Does coat type matter in pet shampoo? Yes, it does. As more and more products come on the market, that's one of the things people are finding out is very critical. And if you use Vetrisen Foam Care, they have shampoos that are created for different coat densities. Number four. How does shampoo help with rain rotten horses? Well, number one, you need to groom the horses first to get the stuff off. And then number two, depending on what you use as a shampoo, for example, the Vetrisen Foam Care Medicated Shampoo has ketoconazole in it, and that helps take care of the basic underlying fungus, and then you can treat with Vetrisen Plus. Next. Good question. How often should I bathe my dog? Well, that varies depending on the environment your dog's in and how dirty they are and the living conditions that you're in and they're around as far as the environmental contamination goes. Too frequent baths cause dry skin and problems with the coat oil. So if you have a question, ask your veterinarian or a dog groomer. What is the best way to bathe your horse? Now that's another good question because I usually end up more wet than the horses do. Usually with the Vetrisen Foam Care products, you can wet the horse mildly, put the foam care on, get it into the coat, and then it rinses very easily so you don't have to keep going back and back and back to get all the soap out. Next. Do medicated pet shampoos actually work? Well, it does when you have a problem that you need a medicated pet shampoo for. If you use a medicated pet shampoo and it's not a problem that is topically skin related where a medicated shampoo would help, then you're wasting your time and your money. Number seven, what to look for in a pet shampoo. Well, there are a number of different ingredients. You want to make sure you get one that moisturizes the skin, cleanses the skin, and that you can rinse out. That's turned out to be one of the biggest problems is lack of rinseability. If you use the Vetrisen Foam Care, they rinse really, really easily. And finally, number nine. How often should I clean my horse's ears? Well, that again depends on the environment that your animal's in and if they're eating hay that's up in a hay rack that can get down in their ears or if they're eating off the ground, if they're standing under a lot of trees, if they're in a very dusty environment. So usually you need to check them once a week and sometimes more frequently so you let the horse tell you. Thank you. I'm veterinarian Brad Gordon.